and seemed like it was flowing pretty well. Shots were going in, but maybe the second half looked more like a struggle. Just maybe what was the difference between the first half and the second half offensively? You know, I thought we, we came out, we were, we were ready to play, but they, they, they got us right in the mouth, right to start. We called timeout. I thought the last 15 minutes, I thought we, we played really well to get it back to one. Um, you know, we didn't guard well enough in the second half. And, and um, you know, it, we put a, it put a lot of pressure on our offense when you don't guard that way. And uh, they do that to you. Um, you got to give them credit. Um, two turnovers, that, that's, that's really good efficiency. I don't care anything. We, we've been better than that. We didn't, we didn't make them have any stress as much as we need to uh, where we have. Um, and you got to give them credit. There's a, there was a lot of thinking going on. What are you doing with Hunter? What are you doing with KJ? And then you got um, Duan. I think they're, those, they're big four showed up and showed big. Those, 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 they're, they're big four right there, really, really put pressure on us. McCuller, uh, super efficient, 21 points, 12 shots, drew fouls. Um, KJ really in the first half had all his 15 in the first half. Uh, Dwan, eight assists, no turnovers. They get you in the pick and roll. They get you in a post up. Um, they rebound their misses. Um, th those four really, really, um, it, it almost made you think so much that we, that we, didn't, we weren't as aggressive as we needed to be in the second half. Well, you mentioned those top guys. How impactful was Dickinson's shot blocking and rim protection tonight? Yeah. Um, it's as good as a turnover. That's what I tell our offensive player. If you go in there and, and, he's, and, he's, and he's between you and the basket, you got to play off two feet. And it's something we've, we stressed and we didn't get into the game. Um, those are as good as turnovers when you drive it in and think you're shooting over him. Um, he'll rotate over and help, and then you got you got to kick it. And, uh, you know, we rely so much on we need um, – um, you just need to be better with that. He's a he's a he's a he's a low. He's a great player. That's why he is who he is. Um, and uh, so, but I, we need to be more aggressive. We couldn't run. I mean, we couldn't run because we weren't getting stops. We, we have a thing called gaps where it's three stops in a row. Um, when we've have seven gaps in a game, we're usually winning. It's over the percentage. We had zero gaps in the second half. We didn't have one time we do get uh, three stops in a row. In the second half, you're not going to be Kansas. I mean, you're not going to be Kansas doing that. You're not going to be a lot of teams doing that. But we, we had to get more stops so we can we can run on some misses, get some things going, just put a lot of pressure on offense, not getting any stops. Yeah, Porter. There in the first half, they get up by nine, and then uh, you know it looks like they might be able to stretch it out from there. Y'all are able to get back in the game and and take the lead a little bit. What what did you feel like y'all were doing so much better then than uh, early in the game and and how did things sort of get away I from you again? After the first four minutes, after that, that they got that that lead, I thought we I thought we were doing some good things defensively. You know, I thought they 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 got you know KJ got some offensive rebounds. They had I don't know how many second chance points. They had a, a, a low IQ play. We were always, we literally always talk about it. If you're falling out of bounds, either eat it or throw it all the way back. And sure enough. We blindly threw it, and they get an and one. So they had a bunch of bats. I thought we were doing some good things defensively in the first half to claw back in, and we just didn't do that in the second half. And it, it's a credit to them. I mean, they're, they're super efficient. They, their strengths, they played right to them. They took care of the ball. You know, they really took care of the ball. Um, I would have liked to have been more aggressive to do some things to, to cause more turnovers, but they didn't. Um, but it started with our defense. We, we didn't get stops, and uh, they executed and took care of the ball. But Porter, were you happy with the poise that your team showed, or did you feel like in the second half they were trying for some of those eight-point plays that you've talked about? You know, when it, when it got really tough, you, you got to answer tough with tough. And I think it was just putting a lot of pressure, you know, on our offense when we couldn't get stops. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to say they, you know, you, you – you, you want your people, guys to be aggressive, and then they, they, they might be on a 4 0 run, and all of a sudden our guys are going to be aggressive, and they drive it in. And, and that, that's, that's as good as a turnover. Driving it in on, on Hunter or KJ when they're straight up and down, you're drawn two, you got to play off two feet and kick. You got to make that play. And uh, they had so many. I mean, he actually blocked it, not blocked it off one, uh, the shot, the guy who took the shot in the uh, second half. We took the shot, we blocked it, and went off our guy. I mean, you, you just, that was, that was a good play. Porter, Javian had a really good first half, kind of dried up a little bit till late in the second half. Was there a defensive adjustment you saw, or was it more about kind of the pressure of the game getting away? Um, I mean, they do a good job um, defensively. I thought, you know, Javion um, created some things to happen. I mean, I, they, were, they were coming digging down on him. Um, and then when we kick it, we got to make better decisions. The other guys got to make some better decisions. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, I, he's, 
I thought, you know, we, it just put a lot of pressure on our offense, especially him and Los, when we couldn't get stops. You got to get stops in this league. And we didn't. We weren't. We weren't. And it's a credit to them, like I said. But we, we, we've got to get some stops so we can get out and get some easy ones in transition. We got to get, it was either a, f a free throw or a basket. You know, they just, we, we didn't get any flow defensively. You already talked about their, their big four, but Furphy out there starting for the first time. Did, did you change anything? Does that change your approach? How do you, how do you handle when there's a new guy in the starting lineup? It wasn't as much as new, it's just what's his strengths. And his strengths is he, he, can, really he can really shoot it. So we knew that. So we, we was more of what his strengths were than anything new. Like we, we prepared for him um, off the bench. Um, we knew he was going to start, but uh, you know he gets out and runs. He got he got behind us in transition the first half. I was I was probably my most or in the second half that was probably my most frustrated. I was really upset about that. He got he he outran us and got a dunk. Um, but um, you know I thought Omarco hit a, a good little 15 footer. We were trying to come back and he hit a, a little 15 footer. Um, on there, so they, they, they made plays and they got um, enough to do. But those those big four, though, but I think Furphy's gonna be is a terrific player. I mean, he can shoot. He's athletic. He's got bounce. He's got activity, um, and uh, I think he gives them an, an, another weapon that's that I think is, is just gonna get better and better. I think he's I, coaching and scouting against him. I think he's very good.